Hey YouTube friends, are you suffering from arthritis in your lower back? Is stiffness in the lower back and achiness and pain a problem that plagues you for the first 20, 30 minutes or even up to an hour or more every morning when getting up? If that's you, then you might have arthritis in your lower back. And I'm, I'm talking about osteoarthritis, not uh, not psoriatic arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis. Those are two other types of arthritis that I'm not a specialist in helping out. But if you've got osteoarthritis, the kind that's associated with, with old bones or aging joints, um, then that's the kind that you're gonna wanna listen in on. I'm gonna cover with you today the top seven tips for helping out lumbar or lower back arthritis. Now real quick, my name is Dr. David Midoff and I'm a specialist physical therapist over at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy and I've been helping out people suffering from low back arthritis for years. Sadly, some of these end up having a surgery for it. Many have to get injections on a regular basis and, and many more than that live off of pain medications every day. They're taking over the counter pain medications or prescription strength stuff that they'd rather not be on because of its harmful effects on, on other body parts. Um, but here in the clinic, we help out people tremendously. Over nine out of 10 of them get back to being active and healthy again um, and mobile in their back and not waking up so stiff in the morning in their lower back and having trouble bending over to get to their feet. Um, so it is possible to manage a lumbar arthritis problem, a lower back arthritis problem, um, without having to rely on medications, injections, or having to have some surgery. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the top seven tips to help out lower back arthritis. Tip number one, core strengthening exercises. Now a lot of people say just go get exercise, but to be specific, we've got to strengthen up the core and it's typically the abs, the, the abdominal muscles, but I would also throw in there the glutes. Just about every single time, uh, it's, it's pretty rare, I'd say one out of 10 times, um, it's just an ab problem, but nine out of 10 times, it's an ab and a glute weakness problem that contributes to a lower back arthritis situation. Um, so if you haven't really worked on your abs and that's something you wanna get going on, um, if you're confused about how to do it, or maybe you've already been trying it out and it's kind of been hurting your back more than helping your back, then I encourage you to go over to our playlist on lower back videos in our channel for El Paso Manual Physical Therapy and there's tons of videos in there that talk about specific exercises for lower back problems and start with those. Those tend to be pretty safe and easy to do. And if you're still having trouble, you need to get some professional help to make sure that you're doing your core exercises correctly because it is proven. I mean, I, I see in the clinic all the time, all, that's how we help people is, is by strengthening certain muscles in addition to all the hands-on work that we do. Um, but core strengthening is gonna be your number one place to start fixing a lower back arthritis problem at home. Number two, simple stretches. Now, um, when I talk about stretches, you, you wanna just stay in this forward and back motion. So like going towards your toes, um, going backwards can be beneficial. I would, uh, there's certain stretches that I would want you to avoid. That's actually tip number three, I'll cover that in a second. But it, where, stretches where you feel like you're bending your back all the way forward or, or all the way backwards are generally okay to start with. Now, what I wanna point out with stretches is they can be overdone and can actually become harmful after a while. So use them sparingly, but it's a good way to relieve the backache, to relieve some tension off your back and possibly avoid taking pain medication in the short term um, just to kind of get you by for a, a period of time. But I wouldn't look to do stretches to cure a back problem. It's just gonna get you started and allow you to avoid taking the, the harmful medications. Tip number three, this is related to those stretches, avoid twisting motions. So some people like to twist all the way around one way and the other way and maybe even force a joint to pop or click. And, and that can be relieving sometimes, but I would avoid it if you've got a low back arthritis problem because chances are there's a bunch of stiff joints in the lower back because of, of the arthritis. And there's usually a, a one or two joints that are compensating for all the stiff joints and you might be over twisting that one joint that's moving way too much and creating a disc problem or a pinched nerve problem later on. Um, so I would avoid the twisting motions. Our spines are just not designed to, 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 take, to take a lot of twisting and repetitive twisting. So uh, make sure you avoid daily twisting motions as well, like uh, twisting while doing little things at home, activities um, like uh, chores in the yard at home. 
Um, if you have to stand with your feet pointed one direction and you're twisting over one way, or if you're sitting at a desk or, or cooking in the kitchen and you find that your feet aren't really going with the upper body, make sure to just reposition your feet so that they're in line with the rest of your body so that you avoid twisting through your spine. So keep away from those twisting motions. Tip number four, drink lots of water. Stay very hydrated. Our joints are reliant on our hydration. So if you feel like you've been not drinking enough water over the past few months and, and your back arthritis problem is just getting a bit worse, it could very well be affected by your hydration levels. Cartilage is over 60% water, up to 70% water, and, uh, and you're, in your joints you've got tons of cartilage. Discs in your spine are also um, a highly dependent on hydration. And then there's fluid inside the little spine joints, the facet joints is what they're called in, in the lower back, um, and that fluid needs to, to be there in order to properly lubricate the joint surfaces. So drink plenty of water. And I know the side effect is that you have to get up and go to the bathroom frequently, and you know, I would weigh that if you, if you are having a, a problem with having to go frequently um, versus potentially having some surgery someday because this arthritis problem wasn't managed properly, you gotta weigh those risks. So just think about that. I, I, I would, I'm always gonna err on the side of drink plenty of water and it's okay if you have to get up every now and then to go to the potty, just, just make that trip count as exercise. Tip number five, avoid shoes with heels. Now this goes for both men and women, of course, women are probably the ones that are typically gonna wear heels more so than men. Uh, but men do wear heeled shoes here and there, you know, smaller heels typically with like in boots or dress shoes. Um, but that little elevation, even if it's just a small amount, it changes the way that your ankles are positioned when you walk, which influences the knees and hips and, and can translate all the way into the lower back. Now, generally, the bigger the heel, the more forces are gonna be disrupted and affecting your back negatively. So it just doesn't allow the muscles that control the spine, the lower back, to properly operate and give you the stability that is needed for everyday motions. So if you've got a chronic back problem, if you've got arthritis in your back, um, I would definitely stay away from the heels until that problem gets resolved. Now, let me put a disclaimer in here. I'm not against heels forever i think if you're if you're healthy and if you're if your back is fine you don't have any other issues that are affected by the heels wear heels all you want and it should be just fine for you but if you're trying to avoid medications injections and having a surgery get off those heels in the short term and let's fix the back problems so that you can get back to wearing the heels as you might like want as you want to later on in life tip number six avoid walking for exercise I, I put this tip in here because a lot of people that I meet here in the clinic and out in public, they say, well, hey, I want to start exercising, so I should start with walking, right? That's kind of the easiest thing to do. You just get out and put on your walking shoes and go for it. And, and yeah, it's an easy thing to do, and it, 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 it was pushed a lot back in, in, um, in the 90s and even early 2000s as a great way to start exercising. I think it's still generally accepted as a, a great way to start exercising. And if you don't have any sort of back problem, I'm okay with it. But if you're dealing with back arthritis, lumbar arthritis, it is not a good thing to go walking for 20 minutes, 30 minutes or more or to cover many, many miles because there is a decent amount of twisting that happens through the spine when walking. And if your joints aren't moving properly because you've got arthritis in there that's preventing the motion, then you're technically doing a repeated twisting motion over and over again, and it can aggravate the back problem. And we've seen people come in here in the clinic that say, I started walking and it kind of felt better because I, I, I unstiffened and my back freed up some, but then it started to bother me as time went on and I just didn't enjoy going for walks. So if, if that's you, stop the walking right now. There's other exercises that you should be doing. And then walking can begin to happen for regular exercise if, if you choose to. If you like to go hiking or, or you're just an outdoors person and like to get out every now and then, it, it's not a forever thing, kind of like with the heels. You want to just put a, a pause on the walking beyond what you'd have to normally do for everyday living, you know, walking within your house and for work. But walking for exercise, like where you go on a dedicated walk, I would avoid if you're trying to correct a low back problem, a, an arthritis problem in your low back. Tip number seven, get expert help. This is by far the quickest way to make sure that that lower back arthritis problem gets under control and managed properly. 
Now the reality of what we've discovered in the healthcare field over the past 20 years is that arthritis in the back is actually okay as we age. It's expected as we age. Think of it as like rust on a, on a car. If you look under an old car, like from the 60s or 70s or, or, or even before that time, if there's bits of rust here and there, it's not gonna impede the function of the car. Your car's still gonna run and you can go enjoy a cruise. But if there's a massive hole that is rusted out on the frame or on some important part of the, of the undercarriage of the car, then you should get some concern and you should think, am I, am I gonna be able to enjoy my ride or is something gonna break or is this car even gonna start? Then you got a problem. It's the same thing if you're looking at the arthritis in your spine. If it's all over, if it's just, there's tons of it, just like there's a lot of rust on the bottom of a car, you're gonna have some likely long-term back issues and you can still get it under control and manage it so it's not worse and avoid a surgery or having to rely on medications. Uh, but the fact of the matter is it's just affected more joints, more, more cartilage in the spine. But if it's just a little bit of arthritis, if, in other words, if they told you that you have mild arthritis, even moderate arthritis, then I wouldn't get too concerned. That's like looking at a you know, 50, 60 year old car. And if it's just got mild amounts of rusting or even moderate amounts of rusting, but everything still works, then you have an excellent shot at getting to no pain, getting to back exactly to what you were doing before without having to worry about having surgery one day or having to rely on, on injections or medications. Um, but getting expert help really just speeds up that process to make sure that you're doing the right exercises, that you're not doing the wrong stuff, and that you're thinking about this properly so that you can learn how to take care of your back arthritis for the rest of your life. So I strongly encourage you to reach out to an expert like a manual physical therapist to make sure that your lower back arthritis problem gets under control and handled properly. Hey YouTube friends, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you can start doing some of these tips right away or, or stopping some of the things that I talked about as well. If you thought this was helpful for you, hit the like button below here and then move the cursor over just a bit and hit the subscribe button so, you, so that you get notified whenever we release new information that might be helpful for you. Another option for you, if you're looking right now for more help with back problems, if you're looking for exercises specifically or more tips for back issues, head over to our channel and find the playlist that has nothing but back videos in it. Go check it out, go on a little binge watch there and you'll find lots of help about how to begin to handle your back problem on your own. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Have a great day, bye-bye.